Hello there, Star Wars toy fans. This is Jim, and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I've done an action figure comparison video, and I've just been so busy with work and helping friends and family out and other hobbies, like I've been getting back to my slot car racing and model kit building, uh, that I kind of put this on the back burner. And so I thought, well, I need to get another comparison video out for you guys. So this is, happens to be what I call the Emperor's Throne Room, and we'll just cover really six figures, comparing the vintage Kenner line, which is what I primarily collect, and then that that I have in my Hasbro collection, which you'll see is pretty minuscule compared to what Hasbro has totally produced. So we'll go ahead and get started with the Emperor. Now, the Emperor is a 1984 release, and I know for a fact that this is one that I got via mail order. I don't think I have the baggie saved anywhere that it came in, but I know that I saved it proof of purchase seals from the card backs and from boxes and such and mailed them in. My brother did the same thing. And uh, that's how we got this figure. <clears throat> He's got five points of articulation, so the head turns somewhat, and he can fully sit, which as a kid, that was important because our guys like to go to the cantina and dine. Uh, <clears throat> they would sit at the tables. And uh, anyway, it's got a, a 1984 stamp right there on the back side, and he holds his cane. And he holds that pretty well. Now, as far as a sculpt goes, you know, I thought this was pretty creative for the time. They didn't use a fabric robe like they did with the Emperor's Royal Guard, but more or less sculpted the robe into the figure. Which, if you're going to get your figure to be able to sit in a ship and so forth, that's fairly important. Now, this is the 1997 Power of the Force 2 release of the Emperor. And as I was doing my research, I discovered that there have been 16 release, no, 14 releases by Hasbro of the Emperor. I mean, how many do you need? There is only one Emperor. And I know there's different versions and so forth that may be improvements on the original sculpt. This one's not too bad. It's got a pretty good likeness of Ian McDermott as the Emperor. In fact, better than Kenner's. And uh, he's got four points of articulation. So he's the head kind of turns just like the... 1984 release. The arms do move up and down. The wrists don't rotate. And the waist kind of rotates. You can see that split there, but it's hardly does anything at all. It's got this vinyl cape, which was really popular by Hasbro at the time. And I have a love-hate relationship with that because, I mean, it does look authentic, but it limits what your figures can do. But not only that, Hasbro limited his uh, leg movement because there is none. It's just totally one big massive piece of plastic with two holes there for the feet. So that's, it's kind of a disappointing figure, and, but if you want one that, you know, he's going to uh, walk towards Luke and the Death Star, then I guess it fills its role. This was one of my childhood toys, along with the Emperor, and uh, this one didn't get a whole lot of play. I, I would say that he probably stood mostly by on the post by the Death Star. I always wanted to get a second one, but just never did. And uh, maybe I will eventually. So the Emperor's Royal Guard, this is, as you can see, the only version I have, because it's the only version that I really liked. Uh, Hasbro's produced six different versions of this, and I might have to get the most recent one, because that one looks rather cool. I think that's from the vintage collection, where the helmet comes off and so forth. But as you can see here, he holds his staff. Um, he has four points of articulation. The head does not move. The legs do move, oops, and allows him to fully sit. And uh, he's got this inner cloak here. You can see there's a split there, and you can see the copyright date on the back. Sits really well on the peg. Stands really well. And then here is the weapon. Just a, a very nice, nice staff which happens to be the original one from my childhood. Now, the last characters that we'll look at are the Imperial Dignitaries. I did not get this one as from my childhood. By this time, I was a senior in high school and had a love-hate relationship with Star Wars. I wanted the toys, but I was too proud to collect them because I was a senior. You're not supposed to play with toys. If you watch my channel, you know that I did pick up Han Solo Carbonite and Lando General just because I wanted to. So this guy, I don't even know if he was on the shelves. I don't remember him. Uh, the Imperial Dignitary, uh, he gets a lot of criticism as being lackluster. 
uh, from for part of the line, but it does fill the role. Five points articulation, so the head does turn and he does fully sit. The robe is sculpted in. Now, this one, you'll notice that there's a big chip uh, chunk taken out right here. And I've thought about possibly repairing that, but maybe one of these days I will get a replacement. When I bought this guy off of eBay, uh, the seller did not show a picture of that portion, nor did he uh, know about it when I uh, notified him of, of this. I'm like, hey, there's a big chunk of plastic missing here. And I don't know. Uh, he said he was selling it for a friend, uh, part of the collection. Guy had passed away. He didn't really notice it. Uh, but anyway, at least the copyright date is still there. I thought, you know, maybe I should repair it. The seller did give me a half price discount, so he refunded me half the amount of the money. So I can't complain, but I do want to get a complete one one of these days. Now, the only two Imperial dignitaries that Hasbro has produced come out of the Saga line, and that's out of 2003. And I'll probably get these guys mixed up, as I don't know them all that well. Uh, but we have uh, Janus Grijatus, if that's how you properly pronounce it. He came with a display stand that I've got in uh, storage somewhere. And then we have here Kryn Blistavani. Now, both of these guys are pretty boring, just like the original Imperial Dignitary, so at least Hasbro was keeping up with the tradition. Minimal movement, the leg rotates, that's it. Stiff plastic vinyl cape, there is no sitting down of this guy. He's permanently posed as a statue. The arms do move, and the wrists do move. That's kind of nice. The head moves somewhat. Problem with this guy is, uh, you can lose an arm. Before I did this video, I realized he was incomplete. I had to look in the collector case to find it. Uh, I'm sure the likeness of the actor is pretty good, uh, of both of these guys. And they have, have the same movements. So, oh, there you go. See that? That's, that has to pop right on. They just fall right off. Uh, hand moves, feet move on this guy, but again, you just have this awfully stiff piece of plastic, and that's all he's going to do. And the whole thing uh, turns up here, uh, so the collar looks like that kind of folds upwards. But Anyway, so if you're looking for an entourage of Imperial Dignitaries, you'll want to add these to your collection. But again, as far as I know, that's it. That's all that Hasbro has produced, just these three. You guys can tell me in the comments if I'm incorrect in that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll be uh, putting together some more action figure and ship videos from Return of the Jedi. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video, and uh, we will see you sometime in the future. Take care.